Hey y'all, hey, Amanda here, and today I have an empties video to share with you guys, all the empties I used in June. So, let's not chit chat, let's just get started. The first thing on top here is from Bane to Tear, it is the Keratin Phytoprotein Strengthening Conditioner. It's paraben free, I get these at TJ Maxx for $9.99, and uh, I, th I think they're cruelty free. I couldn't find a ton about um, Bane to Terra online in reference to their cruelty free status, but I think they are. I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. So it doesn't really matter. It's not like I'm going to be repurchasing it anytime soon because I have a thousand Bane to Terra conditioners under my sink in the bathroom. So yeah, it is my favorite conditioner though. It is really good. And if I do find out they're cruelty free, once I finish them up, I'll move on to something else. But for now, I still have like a billion of these, so I like it. Next is from the Rite Aid Renewal line, the Sport Sunscreen Lotion with Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And this is the kind of sunscreen that you put it on and it looks like you're wearing sunscreen. So it's not the greatest, but um, it did its job. I did not get burnt when I wore it. And I would not repurchase it because I'm pretty sure these cheapy brands are not cruelty free. So that is my stance on that. And yeah. Then I have some Up and Up brand uh, cotton rounds. They're not amazing, but they're not horrible. And if you buy them in the three pack, which has three of these, they're pretty affordable. So that's just what I get. Then we have the Wild Madagascar, Wild Madagascar Vanilla uh, Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works, and it says not tested on animals, but I read a blog post recently, I forget which blog it was on, and um, she had contacted Bath & Body Works recently, and they've changed their status to um, third party testing when government required or something, which means they're testing on animals. So I won't be repurchasing this anytime soon until that is stated otherwise. But I, the scent was weird. It didn't smell like vanilla. It was like it had a vanilla undertone, but it was like really fruity, which is strange. But um, yeah. So that's that. I finished a miniature thing of BioTrue, which is my contact solution of choice. It's the one that doesn't make my eyes feel as dry and irritated. So. That's what I go for, and I've already repurchased another bottle. And then here's a birch box sample the Creme de Mano Toca Cleopatra Hand Cream. So it's grapefruit and cucumber. It smelled really nice. The grapefruit and cucumber scent was nice, but this actually left my hands feeling drier than bef like before I put it put it on. If that makes any sense, like. I don't know why, it like felt like it sucked the moisture out of my hands, so this is not a good hand cream. I finished the Caudalie Lip Conditioner, which is a really, really good lip conditioner. I really liked it, but it is not cruelty free, so I will not be repurchasing it. Along the same lines with lip stuff, let's just get all the lip stuff out of the way. We have the Revlon Lip Butter in Peach Parfait, which was one of my favorite lip butter colors, one of my favorite lipsticks, but I do believe Revlon is not cruelty free, so I will not be repurchasing this, and I'm sure I can find a dupe in some other line. Then we have the Lac & Co Lip Tube. It does not say on here what color this is. doesn't matter. Do not buy Lac & Co Lip products. They all really, really suck and give you crackhead lips, so that's my opinion on that. And then another thing that gives you crackhead lips, the YSL Rouge Pearl in 108. This thing is awful. There's so much product left in here, and I have no desire to use it, because this is just the shittiest product I've ever tried on my lips. This is horrible. So horrible. And is there another lip product? No, that's all the lip products. I used up the Body Shop Honey Mania Bar Soap. And uh, it smells really good. I love the Honey Mania scent, but the bar soap is kind of drying. I would stick to the shower gel. Maybe do more makeup, I guess. Uh, this is from Maybelline, the new Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Spot Treatment Corrector. Longest name ever. I prefer the one in the clear tube. This one is not great. Don't believe either of them are cruelty free. I don't think Maybelline's cruelty free. So. 
It won't be repurchasing that, but even if it was cruelty free, I wouldn't repurchase this one. Then we have the Model Coat Volumized Mascara, the little apparatus that cleans the mascara off the wand so that you don't have like tons of mascara on the wand broke. And it just got clumpy and gross, so not a, the greatest mascara. I don't recommend purchasing it, and it flakes after a few hours, so there's that. Is that all the makeup? Yes. Now we have the Catherine Malandrino fragrance. I love this fragrance. I cannot find anywhere online if it's cruelty free or not, but I do really want the full size, so I'm just going to keep researching. I don't have the money to buy the full size one anyway right now, so it's not even a big deal, so there's that. I do really like that scent. Then we have the Harvey, Harvey? <laughs> Harvey Prince Sea Salt Hair Mist which uh, this does nothing to my hair. It's my, I might as well just be spraying water on my hair. It's absolutely useless, so I didn't even finish it. It does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Then I have a sample from the body shop. This is Mojito Sorbet, which I think the sorbet is kind of supposed to be like a lighter lotion type thing, but it just made me feel sticky, and the scent is just strange. I don't want to smell like a mojito, so there's that. Didn't finish that either. Another sample. I, I finished off a lot of samples this month. I'm trying to get rid of all the sample stuff in my life. So this is um, from Bear Republic. An SPF 30 natural mineral sunscreen for the face. And this is made by Kula. So while I think looks wise this was a nice facial sunscreen. Alcohol is really high up on the ingredients list. And... That's kind of disappointing coming from Kula, even though this is supposed to be like their cheap brand. Like, Kula makes really good sunscreen products that are like, the ingredients lists are pretty good. So that was a little disappointing. I wouldn't purchase it personally. And then all four products left are from Paula's Choice. This first product is from the Resist line and it is the Barrier Repair Moisturizer. And it says for normal, dry, or very dry skin, and it has retinol in it. I cannot recall how this was, so I'm guessing it must have just felt like just a normal moisturizer, because I really can't remember using it. So, if it didn't leave an effect on my mind, I'm guessing it wasn't anything special and it wasn't anything bad. So, I don't know. I may repurchase it sometime in the future, because the Paula's Choice... Uh, website has so many products on it, so I'm sure I'll forget how it was and I'll buy it again, so who knows. And then we have the Skin Perfecting 8% AHA Gel for all skin types with glycolic acid. This is an exfoliant. I love this stuff. I really need to get a full size of this, but you know, I'm getting one thing at a time. Paul's Choice is not the cheapest, so I just gotta do it one thing at a time. But this is next on the list for sure. And then I finished oop, the Anti-Redness Exfoliating Solution, 2% Salicylic Acid, and the Daily Skin Clearing Treatment, 2.5% Benzoyl Peroxide. Using these together, which is how I think it's intended to be used, kind of irritated my skin, but when I started using this one in the daytime and this one at night, my skin seemed to have responded to that better. So that's what I do, and I've purchased the stronger version of each of these, because this is the regular strength. And so, uh, yeah, I really liked these, and I'm glad to be moving on to the full-size products, because I think they're going to be great, too. So that is everything that was in this month, this month's, I wish I could talk, this month's empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions about anything, definitely leave that down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to stick around for a while, you can hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you here in our little world that I have going on. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!